Every year, 7 million children are born to girls who are children themselves. Complications from pregnancy and childbirth remain the leading cause of death among adolescent girls. Access to comprehensive sexuality education, life skills, sex education in the schools, whatever the terminology, it's challenged. It's challenged too often in too many places, but it's only when young people have that type of information that they can make healthy decisions about their bodies, their sexuality, their responsibilities, and their lives. The taboo should not be to prevent a girl from accessing life-saving information about her body and her sexuality. I always say we cannot have an empowered woman if she becomes pregnant at 14 because that, deci that decision and the decision to carry a baby will affect the, her own life for, until uh, she will become an old woman. Very often there is the formal comprehensive sexuality education that happens within the schools or the formal setting, but there is also a very important element that is the peer-to-peer what other young women are telling each other. And through the social media and through the social groups, that is equally important, that the information is spread and other young women are sharing the experience, both positive and negative, about their own sexuality. O Brasil tem, uh, no passado, Ha sido una serie de programas muy bien sucedidos, como por ejemplo el programa Saúde en las escuelas, que fue considerado una buena práctica internacionalmente y que, y que otros países han adoptado. Y obviamente tenemos la esperanza de que en Brasil ese tipo de programas que fueron tan bien sucedidos, obviamente van a continuar en el futuro, de jeito tal que los adolescentes y los jóvenes brasileños consigan hacer ese tránsito de manera segura y consigan virar ciudadanos, ciudadanas uh, empoderados, productivos, cientos de sus derechos y de sus posibilidades para llegar a un país mejor.